We are in Laughlin, Nevada today to go to every single casino resort on the Laughlin Strip. So let the adventure begin, Laughlin, Nevada, Casino Strip Edition. Show me love, show me love, make it change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me love, show me love, show me love. Show me love, make it change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Welcome back and if you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm a tangerine and I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. We are going to go to all eight casino resorts on the Laughlin Strip because I want to show you what each of them is like in case you want to come and visit. Each one is unique. They have unique restaurants, uh, entertainment, gambling. Everyone is different and I want to show all of them to you so you can make a decision on which one you want to stay at or which one you want to come and win some money. I wasn't going to say lose some money, but we're winners. We're winners. Uh, there is an excessive heat warning for this area. So we are going to get going. I'm going to try to walk most of it. Uh, Harrow's is the only one that I think I'm going to drive to. The strip is very walkable but it is gonna be excessively hot today. So we'll see, we'll see how we go. And we are gonna start off with the OG Casino, Riverside. Riverside Casino was the first resort casino to open in Laughlin. And it was of course started by Don Laughlin and all the other resorts followed. So we have to go to the OG Resort first. It's also one of my favorites. There's just so much to do here. You cannot go wrong with Riverside Casino if you want to have a good time. Riverside is known for all the entertainment inside, but also the outside is pretty fantastic. If you like to get out in nature, you can walk on the walkways here. It's beautifully landscaped and maintained out here. A lot of people out walking their dogs this morning. That's good to see. Lots of shade over here. If you want to get out of the casino and go for a walk, this is a really good place to go outside of the Riverside Hotel. And Woo, I'm dodging sprinklers, you all. I'm dodging sprinklers. If you are unfamiliar with Laughlin, Nevada, it is what I like to call the mini Las Vegas. It is located about an hour and a half drive from Las Vegas. And it's gonna be a lot less cray cray than Vegas. So if you are looking for a family friendly alternative, Laughlin is gonna be the place for you. What makes Laughlin so special too is it's right here on the Colorado River. So if you are a nature lover like me, you're gonna love Laughlin. It's so beautiful and peaceful to be right here by the water. It is really good to see the water levels here return. They were quite low last year and they're looking pretty, pretty good. Destination Riverside Casino. I will be gambling at the Aquarius. That is my favorite casino to gamble at. But I love to go to Riverside for all the entertainment that's there. There is a movie theater. There is a bowling center. Really, literally everything that you can imagine is at Riverside. You could just spend your whole day at Riverside and still have a good time. Casino number one on the Laughlin, Nevada Strip. Riverside 
hotel and casino. All right, this is my favorite, you all. They named a lounge after me. Can you believe they have a tangerine lounge? Oh no, it's just a loser's lounge. It's not open yet because it's morning time, but it looks incredibly beautiful. Of course, you got gambling, and there's a lot of gambling here. There's a lot of machines here, a lot to do. That is a lot of buffaloes. They do have a buffet here, and it's quite popular. It can get quite busy in there. And here is Riverview Restaurant. I have eaten here. Very good food, great service, and it's right on the water. They have one of my favorite gift shops. I, whoever is the buyer for this place, they do so well. Love this gift shop. Look at these cute sundresses. They just have like really adorable stuff in here. A lot of farm style decor. Really beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the games. Southern living, that kind of thing. Up here on the second floor, you're gonna have laser tag, bowling, bar, sports book club, a dance club, and the classic auto show is on this level. The laser tag is open mainly at night, but on the weekends it starts at 12 p.m. Noon. I absolutely love bowling here. It's so much fun. We are bowling. I got purple in honor of my stepdaughter's favorite color. Let's see if we can improve our previously really horrible scores. theater is and I just went to see a movie here a couple of weeks ago fantastic movie theater the seats are incredible the popcorn is so good and very well priced large arcade in here here is the celebrity theater where you can catch a concert and they do have a spa and they do have bingo I'm not quite ready to call my age yet and do bingo getting dangerously close to that I don't know but it does it does seem like it would be fun right or is that just me bingo hours at Riverside if you're interested 
I had to come down here because prime rib room. This is a big one for the casino. It opens at 4 p.m. A lot of people talk good about this. Two restaurants up here, the gourmet room and the prime rib room, where I've heard you can get chicken. Or how about you get some prime rib? They have a sidewalk cafe here with lots of treats and drinks. They only have one Wonder Woman here, so I gamble at the Aquarius because there's just one and there's usually a ton of people here and she doesn't come out and do the lasso thing. So we are gonna gamble at the Aquarius next. And they have a fat burger. My daughter swears by this. She says it's really good. I've never tried it, but you know, if Sam says it's good, it's good. Second floor there is the car show. It's not open yet, which is kind of a bummer, but I've seen it like, I don't know, four times. And I will insert some clips here. That is a must do. It's $5. And if you have the free Players Club, it's for free. Love the view up there. You can really see the Colorado River from up there. Look at how absolutely stunning this is. You will not get this on the Vegas Strip. Hmm. Florida made news recently because the temperature was reaching 105. And I just want to say, hold my beer, Florida, because Laughlin, Nevada, gets up to 100. We're, we're going to be 115 next week. So when you come here, make sure that you have a sunscreen, plenty of water. It gets so, and I don't care who says it's dry heat. Whoever says it's a dry heat, you know what? On you because it's hot. Okay? Dry or not, I don't care. It's too freaking hot. Uh, if I'm going to be that hot, I want to be looking at Mickey Mouse or the ocean. That's just, that's just my take on the heat situation here. I do like the less humidity because I can straighten my hair and then it doesn't go poof like uh, the magic dragon. We have arrived at the Aquarius and it's, you know, 9.45 in the morning. Let's do some gambling. This is one of my favorite casino resorts. I did a full video where I spent the night here and I will link that above if you want to check that out. Love this resort. You can't go wrong with it. One of the best on the strip here. Stopping to drink some water. Very hot today. Make sure that you stay hydrated and not a bad place to stop and drink some water. Let's manifest some winnings here. Let's see if that works. What do you think? You think it's gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Cafe Aquarius is super busy. Very great restaurant. I have eaten here too. Really good. Super busy. Super, super busy. Daily deals. Burger and fries for nine dollars. We are not in Vegas, y'all. Please don't go. The music at the Aquarius always hits. You leave me now. You take away the best part of me. The gambling. Ooh, no. I haven't had any coffee. All right, here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Miss America. Welcome. Alright. Let's hope we do better at this than bowling. Odds are not likely. I just love the noises it makes. Moved over to Wonder Woman Gold. I just want her to come out and do the little lasso thing. Is that too much to ask? Wonder Woman has done me wrong again. Why do I keep coming back to her? when she's so mean to me. Do I have like a bad girl complex? Like I like the bad girls? 
Is a Wonder Woman like a superhero? Why'd she gotta be like that? Aquarius has one of my favorite restaurants, Outback Steakhouse. Love eating here. The Aquarius has a Subway and a McDonald's. Really nice gift store and then a coffee shop as well. You can get a lot of Laughlin souvenirs here. In fact, the shirt that I'm wearing, I bought from the Aquarius. And all of these resorts have arcades for your little ones. We are headed back into the wild yet again as losers. Wah, wah. Next up is the Edgewater. Checking on my yacht. It's looking good. I will be doing a riverboat cruise soon. That will be in a future video. They have all sorts of cruises that you can take. You can take a cruise into Lake Havasu. Uh, and they drop you off in Lake Havasu and you get three hours there and then they take a cruise back and that is $95 per person. Lots of different options. There is a dinner cruise as well. And of course on the water here you can rent jet skis everywhere. All kinds of places to rent jet skis. We have made it to the third casino on the strip. This is Edge Water and it has one of my favorite things pink box donuts you all and they even have a Denny's it's always open love this casino for those two reasons alone Who it is hot dog hot diggity dog here is where you can get on a water taxi for five dollars and this will take you all the way down to Riverside Aquaria so it'll take you all the way down to Harrow's which is much further down that we are going to drive to but you can also take a water taxi. The Edgewater is going to be the last one that we can easily walk to on the boardwalk here we're going to have to zigzag after this. There is Bingo here too and another arcade. Stockman Steakhouse and Denny's. It feels so good in here air conditioning priceless am i right my favorite place on the strip you are very bad for me kiki you're very very bad for me look at that cute face you know how bad you are you know you're just as bad as wonder woman a small gift shop here with lots of snacks and souvenirs and and here is where the pool is if you are staying overnight. We have left Edgewater because of the donuts. Uh, I cannot resist. Someone walked by me and she's like, are these good? And I'm like, um, yeah, pretty much they're my crack. She's like, oh good, another addict. And I'm like, correct. That would be correct. So we are moving on. And here's where the boardwalk ends right here for now. It ends in the Colorado Bell, an abandoned casino resort. So sad, I really wish they would do something with this. There's the backside of the abandoned Colorado Bell. And we're gonna walk around to get to the Golden Nugget and the New Pioneer. We're also gonna cross the street and go to the Tropicana. You can go right up this walkway and we're gonna zigzag and go in front of that Colorado Bell to get to the next casinos that we're gonna go to. And here's the front side of Edgewater. Lots of parking here, lots of rooms, lots to do and eat at Edgewater. The Colorado Bell, isn't she beautiful? Really wish I would have been around when this was open. And I really, really, really hope they do something with her. She's a classic. We are gonna follow the security fence here to the strip where we are gonna walk down. Uh, there's the Tropicana, we're gonna do that last because we're gonna do all the resorts on this side of the strip. Next up down the strip would be the New Pioneer, the Golden Nugget, and the River Lodge. Here is the Laughlin Strip, all very, very walkable. And the good thing about the Tropicana, which I like, is that it's right next to an In-N-Out Burger, which is the best. And here's looking at the strip this way, very, very walkable. We have reached the Pioneer Hotel and Gambling Hall. This one has the least amount of rooms of any casino resort on the strip here, and it's probably the most economical in terms of price. 
very motelish kind of entrance, you know, where you park outside of your room. They do have a lot of rooms that are facing the Colorado Rado River, though, so that is really nice. I kind of like rooms where you can just go right up to your room. Or you can park and go right up to your room. Whoa, that truck is looking sketch, man. What happened to you? Yikes! The new Pioneer is next to that Colorado Bell, and then further down, the Edgewater Aquarius in Riverside, where we've just been. We have picked up the waterfront again, and isn't it spectacular back here? I think I'm gonna spend the night here one night just so I can like come out here and go right to the Colorado River. This is pretty. I feel like I'm in a movie. Oh my god, this is so nice. I can smell the oil from the jet skis and I can smell the water. Oh my gosh, this is the best. And you can rent cabanas here. <laughs> This right here alone is a major selling point for this hotel. I mean, it does not get much better than this. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. My camera is overheating and so am I, so we're going inside. They have a really good restaurant here, Bumbleberry Flats. And of course, lots of gambling in here. Another sports betting place. The new Pioneer is definitely the smallest casino out of all of them. It's got like a really cool vibe though. If you're looking for something simple, right on the water the pioneer and it's very economical too the pioneer is a good choice yay we are at the golden nugget i freaking love this resort i did a whole video on the golden nugget and i'll link it above love this casino it has bubba gumps out back and you can sit by the water and i really enjoy doing that and it's got a couple other really good restaurants here it's just a really really good choice if you're coming to Laughlin. Oh my gosh, they're gonna have a wedding here. How cool is that? Great gift shop here. They're so nice, really friendly. We have to visit the Golden Nugget, the world's largest golden nugget. It's a requirement, the Hand of Faith Nugget. Because it looks like a hand. Aren't they brilliant? It was discovered by someone who wishes to remain anonymous, prospecting behind their modest trailer home when they found the spectacular find. The Golden Nugget has this really nice atrium here in the R Pet Friendly, which is, makes this a really great choice. I think it's the only casino on the strip here that allows pets. Isn't she pretty? Love the Golden Nuggets. Of course, they have a rather large casino here. And you go down one level to go to the restaurants and to the Colorado River. Baba Gums. In my Golden Nugget video, I went here for lunch and sat out by the water and it was fantastic. Love Bubba Gumps. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. This makes me think of the TikTok song. Late at night, I always thought about Jeannie. And one of you lovely people commented that this is a really good option to the Sawgrass Steakhouse. Bubba Gumps. Here is the taxi stop for the Golden Nugget. This restaurant is really good as well. Always a lot of people eating in here. That was a really good stop. The wedding started and I didn't film it, of course, because that's private, but we love love. We love love. Glad I got to see that. That was cool. 
onwards. Resort number six, the Tropicana. This is the only one that is not on the Colorado River. You do have to cross the street to get it. You don't have direct Colorado River access. So keep that in mind if you're choosing to stay here. Super easy crosswalk, crossover really easy. We have crossed over, hopefully not to the other side, but yeah, we are on the other side. Huh, it's been nice knowing y'all, bye! Heaven, I assure you, is a Disney park and not a casino, okay? Okay. The Laughlin Tropicana. The Tropicana in Las Vegas just got torn down, so this is the only Tropicana left. Lots and lots of casino floor space. And there is a lobby where you check in. And it's double the fun in Laughlin because they have two towers. Double trouble. This guy's a little too happy for my liking. Really nice gift shop that has lounge flies. They're speaking my language. I've heard this is garbage. Have y'all ever tried this? It's bubble pit style, baby. Come and get us twice. Yeah, for only a million dollars. Hey, you! Where you going? Who wants to eat some cake? Always want to eat cake, my friend. Lots of quick service food options here at this casino resort. There are two towers, and in between the two towers is going to be your pool. There is the tower closest to the street there. I think it's time to get some more water. Daughter's lucky number. She always makes me choose lacquer 24 at the gym. This hotel smells so good. It is really beautiful. It, I would say this is one of the nicer ones. And guess what? Another arcade. This is definitely one of the nicer casinos. And then look at the ceiling. Like, I don't know, it's kind of eerie in here. It's not like that smoke-filled casino traditional that you think of. We are going to walk back to my car at Riverside, and then we're gonna take the car to the last two casinos. Uh, River Lodge is just past Golden Luggett. We could have walked there, but since we're gonna take the car anyways, we are just gonna drive to the last two. And they got bingo. If you were gonna guess that they have bingo, bingo, you're right. We have made it back to the Riverwalk. We're right by the Colorado Bell. And I would be remiss to not tell you guys, we're just covering the strip here in Laughlin. There are other resorts, most notably the Avi Casino Resort. It's not anywhere near the strip here. It's about a 15 minute drive. Love, love, love the Avi. And I hope to do a video just on the Abbey. And that's on the Colorado River too, just a little bit further. It's phenomenal. My kid got to stay there for a week when we first moved here. Highly recommend the Abbey. I just wanted to put that out there. It's not the only resorts. These are not the only resorts in Laughlin. It is almost one o'clock. We've walked 14,000 steps. My plan was to stop and get lunch somewhere along the way, but I'm not even hungry yet. I have a gastroparesis, which is paralyzed stomach, and it decides for me when I do things. So not hungry yet. We got two more resorts to go as soon as we get back to the car. Now I would take the water taxi, but I love walking and it's a beautiful day out. And plus the Aquarius took all my cash. Wonder Woman took all my cash, to be more specific. Why in the Sam Hill did I sit down? Not exactly smart, Amy, because now I don't want to get up. I am back in the car about to drive to the next one and look at the temp here. We are on the surface of the sun. And next week is supposed to be 115. Someone come and rescue me, police. Police.
made it to Harrow's. I, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. It drives my sister insane that I say this casino wrong. But that just kind of sums up how I feel about this casino. I'm sure it's a perfectly, perfectly lovely casino, but it's my least favorite for personal reasons. Because last year, my mom was sick and she wanted to come to this casino and my dad was gonna drive her, which is not, let's not do that. So my sister and I took her because she's stubborn and did not want to admit that she was sick. I, I, don't, I don't know any other women in our family that are stubborn at all. Me and my sister are perfectly normal. But anyways, so we took her and we watched her. We tag teamed, we watched her go to each machine and we just stayed behind her and made sure that she was safe. And I just have a lot, it was a horrible day it's like babysitting uh, your ch your child, but it's your parent. It, it was it was a horrible day, miserable, miserable day. So this is the first time I've been back to this casino since that all happened. But I'm bringing you all along with me and you will help me through it and we will get through it. I'm sure it's a great casino. I see that they have a Cinnabon and they have a Mexican restaurant let's go check it out under new eyes and it's right on the Colorado River too so that's really beautiful let's go let's do this together you guys will come along with me thank you massive massive casino resort this is the Mexican restaurant I was talking about I have heard that it's phenomenal I am not hungry yet, but I have heard this is really good. Oh God, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh God. And you see these doors here? Well, when they've been baking in the sun, AKA 120 degrees, when you touch them, it burns your hand. I burnt my hand that day holding open the door for my mom. The Mexican restaurant hours here. They're not open right now. They are closed. We ate at this cafe here. It's really good. It's what that cafe looks like. Food is really good. They have a really nice large gift shop. I really like this gift shop. And they do have a Starbucks. Look at how incredible this is out here. You got the pool over here, and then you can go down here and go swimming right in the Colorado River. And there's that water taxi where they pick you up. I am super glad I came here. It's time to heal from things that don't serve. You know, you need to heal from things that don't serve you. get a really good view of the river from up here and then that up there is Bullhead City. I love Bullhead City. That's a great, great town. They have a food court with smash burger, pizza, and yogurt smoothies. There's the yogurt place and right next to it is Cinnabon. Cinnabon. A lot of really good options here. Super large arcade. It's ginormous. I saw someone walk around the casino with one of these. She won one of these. Oh, I want one of these. Santa! I know him! This makes me miss my sister. This is a very nice casino. It is nice. I do like it. Wiping the slate clean on this one. If you stay here, you are really going to have a good time. These rooms right here are really nice because you can just walk out to the pool deck area and then just right down to the river. This is the second pool area. There are two pool areas. One last casino to go to. Did we save the best for last? We'll find out. I think I would Last but not least, it's the Laughlin River Lodge. This is the only one that I had to park in a parking structure. The rest had really super easy parking, but I guess the parking structure is good because it protects you from the heat. And this is the only one that I've seen that has Tesla chargers, if you have a Tesla. And this one has got surprise bowling. Bowling. And this is probably the largest gift shop. It's massive. 
Ugh, you had me at Christmas. They have Christmas stuff, y'all. Okay, that's true. Facts. We have a Looney Tunes makeup blender. Look what I'm getting. Indiana Colts. How weird that I found this in Laughlin, Nevada. Look at the views of the Colorado River from here. The smell coming off of this big corn cafe. Maybe I'm just starving, but oh my god. I wish I could put it through the camera for you guys. Amazing. It smells so good. I am finally hungry, but now is my daughter is going to be out of work. So I think I'm just going to like uh, catch up with her and take her out to dinner. I love any casino where you can go bowling. That's the best. Absolutely freaking love this. This is really cool. We are not going to make this mistake again today. Not today. All right, this is something we have not seen yet today. Not sure how to explain that. This casino is a lot of fun. They got Pac-Man, y'all. All kinds of fun things to do here. Really like it. This is absolutely incredible. There's Harrow's, Harrow's, Harrow's. I can't say it right, y'all. I don't know why. That's a thing. Down there. This resort's riverfront is very peaceful and quiet with a lot of places to sit. Really nice. And that'll do it for today's video. What did you all think? Which one of these resorts was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that this video helped you if you ever decide to come here. On the next video, my daughter will be back again and we are going to a resort in Las Vegas. So I will see you there. And until we meet again, my friends, bye. And it's been fun. Let's do Laughlin, Nevada again. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. Really, I, I don't know why I'm single. Such a mystery. I I've thought long and hard about it. Not quite sure why. Oops. Very strange.